Hi, I'm Ashwant. Welcome to the Geeks for Geeks. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top 8 career paths that requires no or less coding. Not everyone is good in coding, right? So once after the completion of graduation, people who are not good at coding might get themselves into a confusion zone, like what to do next, which career path uh, to choose from. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to clear all your confusion by suggesting you the alternatives to coding. And yeah, I'm going to suggest the top eight career paths that requires no or less coding. Let's get started. Number eight in the list is user experience design. It is one of the finest alternatives to coding. So it is also called as UX design. And the primary role of a UX designer is to improve the end user's experience. So you are required to satisfy the users. And it also involves like inquiring how user is feeling about your website or you, how user is feeling about your product. So it also involves collecting the user, I mean the collecting the user's experience through different forms, different surveys, different interviews, etc. So yeah, you are required to improve the design of your website. And yes, um, the product, the product's efficiency can be completely dependent on you so you are the one who, sh who should decide like which design to go for and uh, which is the uh, which is a ui design to choose and all those things yeah it is it is a kind of creative role and if you're not good at coding and you have some creative mindset you can opt for this role number seven in the list is sap SAP is one of the famous ERP tool. ERP stands for enterprise resource planning. So you can use this SAP tool in order to plan and manage all the resources in your organization effectively. And you can also automate the repetitive tasks in your organization very effectively by using this SAP tool. So there are ample number of jobs available in the market in the domain of SAP. So the main advantage of SAP is, so it, it uh, I mean, it reduces the amount of money and time that you spend on managing resources in your organization. And the best part is you don't need coding. Number six in the list is software testing. So if you want to be a part of software development process, but you don't want to make your hands dirty on coding, then software testing is one of the best alternative. So it involves two different approaches. Uh, one is manual testing and the other is automation testing. So so manual testing is all about writing and validating test cases for the code that is written by some other programmers. So yeah, it involves the efficiency of your code so that it can be used and it, it can be used in easy deployment. And there is an other approach called automation testing, which does the same similarly, but not writing test cases manually. So you use tools like Selenium to automate the entire testing process. And yes, it is one of the best option to choose. Number five in the list is IT support. So if you're someone who has good knowledge on understanding how computer hardware and computer software works, and if you're familiarized with installing any kind of software or operating system, and having a base knowledge on how networking in computers work, then this role is the best fit for you. So the, the role of an IT support engineer is all about fixing different installation and software issues. If needed, you need to provide support by remote desktop connection. So you will also be required to provide support uh, by chat and emails. So yeah, this is what it is one kind of best alternative to coding job. And number four in the list is technical content writing. If you're someone who is passionate about writing and you're also fancy about understanding latest technologies, then this would be a great fit for you. So you can combine your writing knowledge with the interest towards technology and become a good content writer. So as a technical content writer, you are supposed to provide uh, you are supposed to maintain a blog of your company if required you need to post content in social media about how about your product or about your technology that your company uses and yes it has a very uh, i mean it has an ample number of opportunities outside so you can choose technical content writing as a career if you're someone with good writing skills i can say and number three in the list is data analysis so in order to become a data analyst, you should be passionate about understanding data. And if you're already someone uh, who loves playing with data and has a good knowledge on understanding Excel, then this role is a great fit for you. And there is a lot of demand for data analysts everywhere. So wherever there is data, 
the need for data analyst will always arises so as a data analyst you will be required to understand your data clean your data and building a support model for your machine learning engineers or machine learning developers you need to provide some support to them and you need to collect data from different sources you need to interpret the data you need to clean the data completely so you are required to perform all kind of operations with data and yes you will be considered as a important resource to the organization and yes there are ample number of opportunities available for data analysis too and number two in the list is graphic designing so if you are someone with good design and creative skills then graphic designing is one of the best career alternative that you can choose so you can replace coding with this career path completely and if you are someone with good uh, designing skills so for that you need to have knowledge on like adobe softwares like adobe photoshop and, the, and there are still some there are some softwares like Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro you can become a advanced graphic designer with the help of those kind of softwares and as a graphic designer you will be responsible for creating content to the social media I mean graphic content as well as creating some ads flyers and everything also you you need to be creative enough to design the UI of your website and yes there are there are various number of opportunities in graphic designing you can also start your freelancing agency if you are good enough in designing various kind of graphics and this is one of the best career alternative you can also freelance without depending on the job and the final one number one in the list is digital marketing so if you ask me what is the what is the booming skill apart from data science that has a lot of opportunities coming in the recent times i would say it is digital marketing so digital marketing is obviously the better uh, i mean the better area where people are more concentrating nowadays so every organization is dependent on digital marketing nowadays but why digital marketing what actually this digital marketing is digital marketing eliminates the cost of marketing and it it creates various opportunities to market your product so it was like using different technologies tools and social media to market your product and getting business out of it so yeah it has a lot of scope out there because you are supposed to use various technologies various tools you need to be updated on latest trends and you should be well familiarized with social media to be a good digital marketer it also involves uh, various kind of tasks like search engine optimization content writing again you, you should be a good writer too and apart from that you need to have some knowledge on google ads linkedin ads and everything so yeah these are all the top eight career paths which can be considered as an alternative to coding jobs so choose one and start your career with a good note thank you for watching this video and if you have any doubts regarding this video or all these eight career paths post your queries in the comment section i will get back to you thanks for watching this video again see you next video